Hello there, friends of YouTube. Uh, let's just turn this off a minute. Right, I'll start again. Hello there, friends of YouTube. Um, I've done this with my uh, capacitors. Uh, it's a lot more neater now. It looks a lot better, and it works a lot better that way. Each one of those is 40 kV at uh, around about 200 nanofarads. And then those are the ones there are uh, 30 kV, and they are around. I think they're around about 100 and... No, they're about 68 nano nanofarads, those ones. And then there's a spark gap. And there's my flyback. And my ZVS driver. And the lining capacitors. And that's, that's it. So, this is the toroid. It's an 8 inch toroid. So let's get it going and show you. <coughs> the reason why I've made another video uh, is because I've got a bit of better sparks and, uh, and plus I wanted to show you my new uh, capacitor bank. So there we go. <coughs> Wee! <laughs> Nearly dropped my camera then. <coughs> right, let's bear it out. Isn't that mental? Now they are very large, those sparks. They are over two feet, easily. I reckon, I mean, I was chucking 42 volts through that, guys. Now I'm just gonna put another toroid on. Let's try it with another toroid. I'm just gonna spark out the spark gap, because the spark gap, because the capacitors hold a charge, I have to knock this off. Let's turn that off. Phew, dear, the ozone. Let's turn this off. And you can see me in there. Hello. Hello, world. <laughs> it's on a bit of a thread, so. I mean, the copper pipe that I used to make the bracket um, to slide on there. Um, with me putting it onto a thread, it uh, eventually gets grooves inside there, so you have to screw it off. That's a, that's a little bit tiny one. That's the other one. I haven't tried this one yet since I've done the capacitor bank. This capacitor bank works a hell of a lot better now it's um, it's properly done as before I used to twist all the wires together. And when I used to whack it up, put in more voltage into it with a different you know with a with the flybacks, it did you tend to get sparks jumping across and you get really these really really loud cracks. So See how this gets on then, shall we? First, put a bit of wire on. Just put this on for a breakout point. Fun for the uh, quenching of the spark gap. 
There it goes. Right, now that I know it works. Hold on a minute. I'm going to get zapped. Do a spark up before I take that piece of metal off. <laughs> that is absolutely going mental on everything that is. I need to do this outside I think, eventually. Because that is just breaking out everywhere. Whoa, I tripped up again. Mental. Holy shit. Holy crap, that was mad. <clears throat> There's a just to prove to you guys that it is a, a flyback that I'm using. This is the this is the cables. There's one cable there, which comes from the coil. Goes around. Goes around onto the spark gap. You can see the light coming from the spark gap, so you know it's exactly connected. So you know for sure it's connected. Um, for the Z from the ZVS driver. Oh, actually, from running that, the the flyback isn't too bad. And I was throwing over four. I whack that up then, guys, to 14 volts DC. And that flyback's not too bad at the minute. That flyback has lasted the best out of all the flybacks I've ever done from pushing it. I mean, that was a, a flyback which was cut off from the end. And um, I had to put a bit of black rubber around it because it was arcing. And it was literally jumping from there over to these um, auxiliary wires at the bottom of the flyback. So, uh, that is an unbelievable outcome and output from for the uh, Tesla coil. I'm going to do another video sometime. I shall uh, wheel it outside in the dark and uh, do a video of it running properly outside so uh, you'll see a pretty decent display at night. Better than it arcing out to uh, various bits of wire that are earthed hanging down from the shed. And I've got that big wire hanging, hanging here which runs all the way across over to the other side of the shed. I mean, everything metal that's hanging down is all earthed. Um, it's uh, earth from the earth from the house um, mains, you know, the earth socket from the fuse box, and plus I've got uh, a four-inch bar which is running down into the ground, which is at the back of the shed. So it's everything's well and truly earthed. So uh, and nothing in here can really be damaged by the by the arcs, really. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the the, uh, the Tesla coil, guys. That's uh, just about the best I've had it at the moment. Um, some fantastic, fantastic arcs they were, really were. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the show, guys. Look after yourselves, be safe. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done already. Uh, welcome to comments, thumbs up if you could. And uh, take care of yourselves and we'll speak again. Cheers.